So I know I usually put an entry in, in my room, but I figured that gets kind of boring. You know, who wants to watch Chelsea talk, one, two, let alone in a room all the time. Ooh, a light just went out. Kind of makes things interesting. Um, so I'm out here in like the little courtyard that's for my building. So oh, last week I saw Richard the Third, starring Kevin Spacey as Richard the Third, and it's directed by. Sam Mendes, who also directed American Beauty and is working on this Shakespeare project, like this modernizing Shakespeare a little bit, making it making it appeal to today's audiences. Because a lot of young audiences today don't really want to care about Shakespeare, don't understand it, or whatever. But the production was amazing, and Kevin Spacey's incredible. He worked so hard. He must have been so drained and exhausted like he was looking at the audience i was i paid seven pounds to see this show one two i stood the whole time but that's totally cool i can only see half the stage but it was totally worth it <sighs> he was fantastic oh my gosh every tuesday night is my theater night right now it'll probably end up being tuesdays and thursdays once uh I get my schedule planned out. I can see shows for five pounds. I can go to the Globe and stand like they did in Shakespeare in Love for five pounds. Okay? I saw Top Girls by Carol Churchill and it was phenomenal. It was fantastic. The women in the show, oh my gosh. Why? Well, that's just stupid. I don't understand. Some people just walked through the courtyard. I had to pretend I was Skyping. Good thing I'm an actor. Next week, I'm seeing Ralph Fiennes in The Tempest. Um, so let me tell you about Stonehenge. <laughs> it was awesome. It's really small. It's like this little parking lot with a bathroom and gift shop. And then a path around the stones. They don't let you go and touch the stones. I couldn't rub the stones. I couldn't feel their aura. I couldn't listen to them and see if they were talking to me. I had to just look at them. But if you've seen the pictures of the troll, you know they're awesome. Baby! Our tour guide was very nice. And she saw me with the troll and was like, oh my god, you have to email me the pictures. It's fabulous. I know why Stonehenge is there. It's the troll. And because she was joking around like, how did it get there? Aliens do it. How did it get there? And then now she's decided that the troll has done it. <laughs> Introduced me as, to everyone on the troll bus as troll lady. So, everyone in my program now calls me Troll Lady. At least sometimes. Uh, and then we went to Bath. Now, story about Bath. Um, when the Romans came to Britain, our island here, they searched far and wide and found a hot water spring in Bath and decided to create a civilization there because they were used to the warm waters in the Mediterranean. So we have these ruins from 2,000 years ago of this royal palace and these royal, these Roman palace and this Roman baths. Okay, so it's... all these pools where they would socialize, where they would bathe. I forgot to mention this, so I gotta add it in while I'm editing. 
At Bath, you can drink the water from the spring. And it has 42 minerals in it. Kind of tastes like pennies. But it was worth it because I was cleansed. You already drank the whole thing. <laughs> Mineralic. How's the taste, guys? How is it? You like yeah. it? <laughs> it's healthier, yeah. Did you taste it yet? Uh -huh. No. It's really gross, to be honest. Uh -huh. it's You're <laughs> drinking it? It tastes like water that's just been oh, sitting out God in the sun. Yeah. And then in the 1400s, the royalty in England went there, built an abbey, um, and kind of used it as a royal getaway. All of the buildings are made out of this carboniferous limestone. And it's this yellow stone. It's beautiful. Take a look at my pictures on Facebook. I'll post a picture up here too. It's, the architecture is phenomenal. And a lot of things are circular because of Stonehenge. <laughs> oh, no. Nicholas Cage has a house there. Um, I just started my new class, advertising and marketing in the UK, and it's really cool. We watch commercials and talk about it, and talk about the who's and why's and the types of advertisements and trends and stuff. These are my favorite candy ever. I do quite a bit of jogging here in London. Um, everyone jogs, so it's like you have to. I've been jogging up and down the Thames, uh, tons of bridges in London, so I'll get on the Embankment Bridge or the Waterloo Bridge, run to London Bridge, run to Tower Bridge. Sweaters are called jumpers. So Proud Cabaret is going really well. I posted a picture of myself at the photo shoot yesterday. 20 hours a week of that stuff, baby. And right now I'm currently researching for um, a freestanding spinning dance pole. So let me know if you find a supplier for that in the UK that I can contact. So you'd think that there wouldn't really be a large communication barrier here because... We speak the same language as the English, but there is. I feel like I kind of look like I'm suspended in midair, but really, I'm just like this. I, I had to go buy stockings yesterday at Mark and Spencer's, and I came back with stockings. I'm under the impression that stockings are full body tights. You know, they have the underwear part, and you pull them up like pants. But apparently those are not stockings. Stockings go up to the thigh. So I had to go back. Um, but it's little things like that. Our new show, Decades, is coming out September 21st. So we had a photo shoot to kind of send out and promote while the show's running. And uh, so last Friday, we went to a lot of retro shops, uh, secondhand shops, vintage shops, costume shops to find anything we could that was in different time periods. And this is me and my boss going through these things, okay? It's awesome. It's fun. It's fantastic. Underwear is called pants. Sunday was the Thames End of Summer Festival. And I kind of went shopping. Kind of bought some presents. Uh, I bought myself a scarf, which I haven't taken off since and I've had a lot of fun with. Professor. Pants are called trousers. Oh man, my pants are wet. Does not go well. I'm gonna go on a Harry Potter walking tour. Got a platform nine and three quarters. Really wanna try to get a troll in an Abbey Road shot. like. My three room, like my, two of my, two of my roommates, me and the Troll in Abbey Road. How boss would that be? Peace.
and blessings.